Hey guys, today we're going to be showing you how to throw faster with baseballs. So, today our uh, we're going to be using our, oh yeah, and our catcher is going to be Lan LT. Today we're going to be using a regular baseball and a heavy weighted baseball. So, if you guys don't have this, you can just use a normal baseball, which is fine. So, I'm going to be showing you what to do. So, let me get over there. No, you so, just go to the houses. Okay. So the first trick is you hold your ball like this. Hold it just like this. So have your hands on the Velcro or laces and then hold it like this. So hold it like this with your thumb right on this lace. And then when you throw, you, so I actually play baseball. So my position is I start like this. I stare down the catcher, and then when I decide to, I lift, I come back, I bring my leg back, so I was like this, and I come back, I lift my leg like this, and then I launch it, and this leg comes up and through it. Okay, now, now just demonstrate. Now I'm going to demonstrate on how to throw it. So, hold on, okay, so. You ready guys? Stare down the catcher, bring your leg back, then bring up this leg, and then throw. But, uh, I was just demonstrating, so now, we're first do a couple throws to work on your accuracy, then you can go fast. Or, like this. That was a little long, but that's the time. I haven't thrown much yet. Next, is when you come back, you push off and you throw. Scoot back a little, bro. Okay, that's done, that's done. Okay. Stare the catcher down. Focus. Bring your leg up. And throw. Do this about 10 times until it's fast and accurate. Once your arm is warmed up, you can do some stretches, and then if you do, if this video gets five likes, I will be showing you guys how to um, stretch your arm and the legs before uh, any baseball game, like for pitching or batting or anything like that. So, so. so if you guys get five likes at least or more, I'll do it. So, now I'm going to move to the heavy ball. So this ball has like powder sand, which makes it like a pound or so. It's 15 ounces, so almost as heavy as a bat. Uh, but it, it's probably as heavy as a small bat. And then, same position, and now, this time when you lift your leg up, you don't have to use a heavy ball if you don't have one, but if you do, uh, find someone that wants to catch, and then when you lift your leg up, when you throw, the ball's a little heavy, that it might just slide out of your hand. So do this about 10 times. Safety reasons, don't do it like, a lot, a lot, just do it like 5 times. Yeah, only do it about 5 times. For safety reasons, for safety reasons because your arm could like get hurt. sprain or something if you do it more. Yeah, so, so only do, do it like, like five, five times. times and then it will help you. Because it's, so like, it's like super heavy and if your arm, like simply, if your arm goes like that too much, that's how your arm looks, your arm's going to sprain and it's not going to be Yeah, good. so only do this about five times and then you'll be able to throw this uh, probably a little faster. So, I'll be showing you how to do this. We must do it five times. And you also want your, cat, your person that's catching the ball close to the pitcher so he doesn't have to throw hard. Back to the that's a little close. Okay, that's better. It just slides out of your hand, but it's... And for safety reasons, when you throw, bring your arm high. So when you throw, let go about here. So your arm's going to be like this. Throw and let go. So your hand doesn't have to go like that. Because that might hurt your arm. Let's do this. Okay, that was one time, but let's just do it five more. 
Yeah, four more. Like, it, it doesn't really hurt your hands when you catch because it's so soft, but it's going to hurt your arm if you do it too much. And probably after you do all these exercises, I, was, I, I would ice your arm because I bet it will be sore. sore the next day. Okay, one more. Just for the warning. You don't want, if it, there's like a big game tomorrow, I would Okay. Now we're going to be showing you how much faster it helps you. you. Okay, I'll take that. So what I would do before you pitch is grab a heavy ball and throw it because that makes your arm strength harder and it'll make the ball way lighter seem to you and it'll make you throw faster. So yeah. Yeah, like this ball now seems so light. It seems like as light as paper. Like it used to feel heavy, but now that I've done that, it doesn't. Like, watch this, guys. Okay, that was just not accurate. But yeah, so only do this about five times. But and then uh, after just kind of ice your arms, it might hurt. But what? Doing some my channel. Okay. Now I'm gonna do two pitches, trying to get accurate. Then I'll do a fastball. I know. And that was me full steam, boys. I can't tell how fast I usually pitch in a game, but after doing that, here's how fast I can now pitch. I heard that. And now. Okay, I'm gonna do five more, and then, well, three more. Three more. You don't wanna tire it out your arm. Yeah, didn't think you had too much. Your arm's not gonna feel good for the next few days. Yeah, so this is gonna be the last one. Oh, I'm just gonna throw it as fast as I can. Okay, that was gonna as fast as I can, but. One more. Okay, okay, let's do one more then. Okay. Thanks for watching, and remember, if this video gets five likes or more than 20 views, I'll show you guys how to stretch your arm before a game.